Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this result. Okay. So what we have, we have two metrics D1 and D2. Both are defined on a set X. This D1 and D2 are equivalent metrics and we have this inequality also. There exist two positive real numbers K1 and K2 such that k1 d1 of xy less than or equal to d2 of xy less than or equal to k2 d1 of xy for all xy belongs to capital X. This is so much important information we have and what we have to prove? If any sequence xn is Cauchy in x d1 if and only if it is Cauchy in x d2 if and only if that means we have to prove in both ways. So let us write the given so much important information here. Okay, so let me mention we have we have what we have k1 d1 of xy less than or equal to d2 of xy less than or equal to k2 d1 of xy this is true for all xy belongs to capital x okay i'm calling it as one this is important information we are going to use it later okay so i have called it as one so what we have to prove xn is Cauchy in x d1 if and only if it is Cauchy in in x d2. If and only if that means we have to prove in both ways. I will assume it is Cauchy in x d1 and we will prove it is Cauchy in x d2. Let me mention assume that assume that xn is Cauchy in x d1 okay and what we have to prove we have to prove that xn is Cauchy in x d2 so we uh, all are familiar with the definition of Cauchy sequence right epsilon definition so let us take one epsilon let epsilon greater than 0 be given okay i have taken one epsilon so now I can use the given information or the information which we have assumed. What we have assumed? Xn is Cauchy in x d1. Let me mention we have Xn is Cauchy in x d1, right? So what is the definition of Cauchy sequence for given epsilon greater than 0? There exist n belongs to set of natural numbers such that d of x n x m less than epsilon for all n m greater than or equal to capital N. Same definition I'm going to use here. Okay. But see epsilon we have already assumed. So instead of writing for given epsilon, I will write for above epsilon. Therefore, for above epsilon greater than zero, there exist n belongs to set of natural number such that this is definition of Cauchy sequence such that d1 xn xm. I should mention d1 here since this sequence is Cauchy uh, in x d1. Yes, sequence xn is Cauchy in x d1. So I should write d1 xn xm less than epsilon for all n m greater than or equal to capital N, right? By definition of Cauchy sequence, I could write it. But just for adjustment, what I'm going to do, I'm going to write here divided by k2 see it's adjustment k2 is a positive real number epsilon is also positive if you take the ratio of positive real numbers again we will get positive real number right so just for adjustment i have divided by k2 generally we divide by 2 3 like that so here i am dividing by k2 now uh, what do you think what we need to do now yes now i will take k2 on this side right it is in denominator. If you shift it here, it will be numerator. So K2 D1 of Xn Xm less than epsilon for all Nm greater than or equal to capital N, right? Yes. So let me call it as 2. So let us use 1 now. Okay. From 1. From 1. So tell me from 1, what can we write from 1? d2 xy xy that means any uh, any real numbers okay a, sorry any numbers from x so instead of taking xy i'm taking xn xm okay from d1 a, d a, d2 xn xm okay xn xm less than or equal to less than or equal to k2 
d1 xn xm right so this is 3 so using one I, I got this one okay i got this inequality simply i replace x and y by xn and xm since we are talking about a sequence so will you tell me what can be right from 2 and 3 from 2 and 3 what can we write tell me see d2 xn xm let me write here d2 xn xm what we are saying it is less than or equal to k2 d1 xn xm but k2 d1 xn xm less than epsilon it is just like a less than b b less than c then we say a less than c right so this is my a a less than b this b is less than c so we can write a less than c so we will get this is less than epsilon for all n i should carry this condition right yeah this is definition of cauchy sequence we got getting so therefore xn is cauchy in x d2 we started with it is cauchy in x d1 so that's why we had written d1 initially but now we have got d2 so that's why xn is a cauchy sequence in x d2 okay just make a screenshot of it then we will go further so let us write the conclusion therefore therefore <coughs> xn is cauchy in x d2 okay so in this way we proved if any sequence is cauchy in x d1 then it is cauchy in x d2 so now what will i do i will prove the converse part that means we will assume xn is cauchy in x d1 d2 and we will prove it is cauchy in x d1 okay so let me mention conversely assume that assume that xn is cauchy in x d2 xn is cauchy in x d2 okay so i am assuming this part and what we have to prove we have to prove that xn is cauchy in x d1 okay this thing we have to prove again i am going to use the same definition of cauchy sequence so we need to take one epsilon first let us take epsilon first let epsilon greater than 0 be given okay so uh, now what will i do i will uh, use the given information which we assume we have we have xn is cauchy in x d2 so this thing we have assumed so xn is cauchy in x d2 okay so again i can use the definition of cauchy sequence let me write okay so by definition of cauchy sequence what can we say for given epsilon greater than zero there exists a natural number right capital n but epsilon we have already already assumed so let me write therefore for above epsilon greater than zero there exists capital n belongs to set of natural number see capital n we had already taken so instead of capital n i am writing n naught okay such that such that such that see it is cauchy in x d2 so i should write d2 xn xm less than epsilon for all n m greater than or equal to this n naught right so by definition of cauchy sequence i got this but see again i am going to do a small adjustment see here k1 and k2 are positive real numbers so you can multiply you can divide to the epsilon and the same meaning or same meaning will be maintained there getting so epsilon is also positive real number k1 is also positive real number if you take the product that is also a positive real number okay so i'm writing in this way yes k1 epsilon so let me call it as uh, four okay so now what will i do i will use uh, this this inequality so we had to call it as one so from one see last time we used this part now i am going to use this part okay so what can we write from one k1 d1 of xy is there just at a place of xy i am going to take xn and xm okay so d1 xn xm less than or equal to d2 of xn xm okay so from one i got this one so this is five so will you tell me what can we write did you notice one thing uh four, left hand side of four and right hand side of five it's same getting both are same so that's why a less than b 
B less than C. So we can write A less than C. So from 4 and 5, what can we write? K1, D1, Xn, Xm less than K1 epsilon. Obviously, I should carry this condition for all Nm greater than or equal to N0. So K1, K1, we can easily cancel from both sides since it's a positive real number. So if you cancel it, then also the inequality will be maintained. So D1, Xn, Xm less than epsilon for all Nm greater than or equal to N0, right? Yes, this is the definition of Cauchy sequence. So we can say Xn is Cauchy in X, D1, since we have D1 here. Therefore, Xn is Cauchy in X, D1. So in this way, we proved in both ways. If Xn is Cauchy in X, D1, then it is Cauchy in X, D2. And if it is Cauchy in X, D2, then it is Cauchy in X, D1, okay? So both part we have proved, just make a screenshot of it. Then we will stop. Thank you. See you.